we take an inside look at extraordinary founders and visionaries from humble beginnings who forged a path and transformed the way Hawaii does business. Join us as we meet inspiring CEOs on Founders and Visionaries next. Founders and Visionaries is brought to you by Hawaii Business Magazine. I think this is probably the best time that you will ever see in the next 10 years, maybe even 20 years, to build a home today. Now describe HPM for somebody who's not familiar with the company, what you do and what it encompasses. HPM is a supplier of lumber and building products in the state of Hawaii. Whether it be a commercial builder that does hospitals, airports, schools, or the residential builder that does homes and, and condos. Mike, you've been with the company for several decades now and you're actually fourth generation involved in this business and industry. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your family history. Family goes back a long ways. Um, my great-grandfather, who immigrated to Hawaii from Japan, came in as a skilled carpenter. And so he, of course, was employed by one of the sugar plantations, but eventually was able to become a general contractor on the island in Hilo and built a lot of the uh, plantation homes as well as some of the commercial structures in Hilo. In 1921, he and a partner of his put together a lumber planing mill. And eventually my grandfather uh, took over the business and my dad took over in 1954 and really grew it since then. Late in my second year of business school, I did meet with my father. Now your son describes the time that you met him and made him an offer to come back into the company too. Was it always your hopes that it would stay in the family? When Mike was going to school at, at Berkeley, I used to go to San Francisco quite a bit. So on one of the trips, uh, I was in Oakland, then Mike joined us, used to join us for dinner. Had a really nice time together, and then, then he kind of described the company and described a potential position for me. This sounded really intriguing, and so I eventually came back. That's the time that I thought that maybe it was a good time to start talking to him about it, yeah. Because I, I saw the possibilities of the company, yeah. So now you're actually you have a fifth generation in the business. Your son has recently. Is it recently or he's been there for a while, been mm -hmm. your CFO? Jason's been with HBM since 2004. Okay. Uh, and in 06, um, our board uh, determined that uh, Jason would need to be on a succession plan, which would to eventually succeed me as the uh, president of the company. It, it's not very common these days that the sons continue on in the family tradition. Mm -hmm. And so that's a very exciting development that your son has come on board. It, it, again, was this something that he ever thought he would be doing? No. Yeah. Um, when he was in high school, he um, told my wife and I oh, two things. He said, Mom and Dad, I'm never going to come back to Hawaii, so don't even count on that. Don't think about it. And he also said that, you know, my destiny is to be in corporate finance. And actually he is, you know, I wanted to be an investment banker. And we said, fine, go for it. Um, going through school, you know, I kind of grew up around the business my whole life. But the great thing is I was never pressured, there was never any expectation put on me to work at HPM. I was, I was actually encouraged to go off and do my own thing, which, which I did. So I went off to college, I um, decided to work on Wall Street. And, you know, at some point in, in my career up, up in New York, you know, I really wanted to find something a little more meaningful in my work. Again, it was a great experience, I learned a lot. Um, I was able to really push my limits and, and test my limits. But in the end, you know, the opportunity came up to come back to HPM and serve as a consultant. And I actually brought back several of my friends from New York who were also in investment banking with me. And we did a one-year thing with the company, really building tools and systems and really being, again, more of a consultant. And for me, that experience was very meaningful because, you know, I was really able to, you know, make a difference in the, the lives of the employees. At the end of the year's contract, uh, Jason decided to stay. Tell me about the shift to employee ownership. My father always believed in sharing the benefits of ownership with our employees. My belief was always that employees have to be 
part of the company. Uh, we're one of the first companies to actually install a profit sharing plan, and that was in 1959. I thought, you know what, I think we should follow that uh, philosophy that, you know, let's give something back to the employees so that we give them an incentive. In 1977, we put in our employee stock ownership plan. Again, one of the first companies in Hawaii to do so. The whole beauty of that for us is that, you know, our employees and, and really the employees of any company really reflect the value of that organization. They're the ones that make things happen. They will be able to really enjoy the benefits of ownership. I think that was one of my biggest highlights of this company was when we became a 100% employee-owned company. I loved it when you were sharing what you thought HPM's role or mission in the community was. Can you share that with us? At the end of the day, we really are here in the shelter business. More than just selling a can of paint, or a screwdriver, or a stick of lumber, I see our larger mission in you know, providing for the alternatives or better ways to provide shelter for our citizens. So we continually look for better ways to do that. The intent all of, all of that is to really, again, you know, benefit our larger community. So ultimately, you know, for me, it's really helping guide the company and all of, it, all of its employees um, back to a more successful state and really return that success to its employees. So that's really going to involve you know, us as we move forward into the future, you know, becoming the partner of choice you know, for our core customers and enabling them to be successful in their businesses. What about you? Where would you like to see the company go? Well, I think we're headed in the right direction. I think Mike's idea of expansion to, to Kapolei and up to uh, Kauai is a very unusual thing to do for a company in Hilo. But I got the point and I understood why Mike did it. I think that's, that's real good for the company, I think. Does Grandpa still tell you what to do sometimes? Every now and then. But, you know, my success in transitions is that once I turned over to Mike, <coughs> I just stepped out. And let him go. Let him go. Yeah. He's still chairman of the board, so he still has ultimate authority. But overall, he lets my dad and I do what's right, so. These days, it's not very common that generation after generation stays in the business. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that, and is it in some ways also sort of an honor and a responsibility at the same time. Absolutely. I think it's good in a sense that, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to have my father and my grandfather still in the business. You know, as my mentors, again, I'm able to observe and really you know, absorb everything that they do on a day-to-day -day basis and learn from them because they have many, many years of experience. And you're married. Do you have any children? I have two children. So my daughter is four and my son just turned two um, And does he know week. he's gonna work at HPM when he no, gets No, not home? yet, <laughs> not yet. But they know, they know HPM, so. <laughs> he's our sixth generation. Now that we're a 100% employee-owned company, you know, I feel very motivated to lead this company you know, towards continued excellence, continued improvement. We do have a lot of service to, to bring to our community. And the better we can do it, you know, better our community benefits from that.